All right, since we have the user table now, so you can come in the models directory and then create the user struct here. So I gotta define the struct, which is gonna be user, it's gonna be ID, username, which is gonna be string. And that's basically it. So, but we have to come here in the task and we also need to define user here which is going to be user model we're going to use we can also come here and indicate the tasks which is going to be which is going to contain all the tasks this user is having we can also call this as a one-to-many relation because one user can have more than one tasks that's how we can manage the one-to-many in golang now let's go and start doing some refactoring and start using our user object